slammed when I was in high school and even in college that were no's that at that point I thought were the worst things ever. And then I realized, wow, thank goodness that was a no because there was something else greater for me later on. And uh, similarly to my husband, because he was my third engagement in my life, third time was a charm for me apparently, and fourth time was a charm for Mrs. New York. And I said, okay, what do I want to do with this year? And what I wanted to do with this year is what I've been doing, which is help others see their potential and help other people, more importantly, see the potential of every single child. That where you start is not where you have to finish in life. And the most important thing to change that is having a supportive environment. I'm so proud to come from here because I know that it is the people in this community who affected me, who helped me, who helped grow me into the woman I was and saw my potential before I saw it myself. Because those are the people that when I started to be like, maybe I can't do this, were right there saying, yes, you can. You just have to keep going. Or just because you have a setback doesn't mean that it's forever. And the most other thing I would like to tell kids is, I have this big shiny crown, right? And it actually gets very heavy. But the crown is not, I won this crown. But I can tell you, standing on that stage three other times, watching someone else get the crown, that doesn't define me. That the, my mission was bigger than just the crown. And the crown is just an outward side of something that's really internal. Because even when I didn't win those years, I was still doing the same work. And because we all have something to give to our communities. We all have something to share. We all have something to try to make someone else's life better. And we should do that each and every day. You don't need a problem to do it. It's inside of each of us. There's something unique and special. Um, the one that I always like to say that some people get and some people don't is a little, like, I'm a little too old sometimes, but my baby cousin, who is now from the graduate high school, but when she was little, she loved My Little Pony. And My Little Pony, every little pony has a cutie mark. This is what I learned babysitting for many years, a little girl. And every single one is unique and different. And I realized each of us is like that. We each only have something unique and different to offer this world. And so one of the things I was trying to encourage people is to always smile, always engage with kids, because you don't know what their backstory is. No one would have known looking at me when I was even in middle school what I had gone through, unless you knew part of my story. Because I hit it, because I didn't want people to know. It was embarrassing. But I was still dealing with all that internally, even if you couldn't see it. And it's the people even that who didn't know what I was going through, but smiled at me, believed in me, saw my potential. And then when they heard my story, they were like, wow, those are the people who really inspired me. And so that's what I try to do to everyone I meet, because I think that that's the most important thing that we can do each day. And beyond that, my best advice to people is to just keep trying. Because sometimes you don't get it the first time. But you never know the impact you'll have or the ripples that you'll create, even when you don't win. So thank you all so much. I'm so excited to be here with you all and to be home. Um, and I